Look! <laughs> oh, hey! I'm Harper and this is my sister Sophie. I'm so glad you're here! We're on our annual family camping trip. And I just love to bring the telescope out here and search for all the stars and planets in our solar system. Here, take a look. Isn't it amazing to see the power that keeps everything in our solar system spinning in just the right way? All of the planets rotate around the sun, and because the sun is so big, it keeps everything spinning in the right direction. That is a lot of power. Sometimes when I'm thinking about all the things that are making my life spin out of control, I feel like I could use some of that power that holds everything together. Have you ever felt weak or helpless? Like no matter how hard you tried, there's nothing you could do to fix the situation? What happens when I feel helpless? Oh. Well, that reminds me of a story from the Bible where Jesus showed that he is the Son of God by doing something very powerful. Here, come with me. The Bible is God's true message to us about himself. In this story, we can see God's powerful love for people. Let's open the Bible to John chapter 11. Jesus had just been traveling and teaching the good news of God when he got some bad news about one of his friends. Oh, well. Let's see what happens. Jesus raised Lazarus, John 11. A friend of Jesus named Lazarus was sick. His sisters, Mary and Martha, sent a message to their friend Jesus, telling him that Lazarus was sick. When Jesus heard this message, he said, Lazarus's sickness will not end in death, but it will show God's glory. Jesus loved Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. But when he heard that Lazarus was sick, he stayed two more days in the place where he was. Then Jesus said to his followers, let's go back to see Lazarus. When Jesus finally arrived in the town of Bethany, where his friends lived, he was told that Lazarus had already died and been in a tomb for four days. Many of Mary and Martha's friends had come to comfort them. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him. Lord, she said to Jesus, I wish you had been here. Then my brother would not have died but I know that even right now, God will give you anything you ask for. Your brother will come back to life, Jesus told her. Martha responded, I know Lazarus will rise again. This will happen when all people are raised from the dead on the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me, even if he dies, will live. Everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, Mary said. I believe you are the Son of God. Then she went back home to her sister, Mary. The teacher is here and is calling for you. Mary got up quickly and went to Jesus. As soon as Mary came to where Jesus was and saw him, she knelt down at his feet. Lord, if you had been here, my brother wouldn't have died. When Jesus saw Mary crying, he was very sad. Where have you put him, he asked. Lord, they told him, come and see. Then Jesus wept because of how sad he felt. Some of the people there said, see how Jesus loved him? But others said, couldn't this man who opened the blind man's eyes also have kept Lazarus from dying? So I'm kind of asking the same question. Why didn't Jesus heal Lazarus before he died? I thought the Bible says that he loved Lazarus and his sisters. Jesus did love Lazarus. He loved Mary and Martha too. He even cried along with them and was sad. God didn't say life would be problem free. There could be some really hard times, but he is always there. Let's see how Jesus showed that he has power, even over death. Once more, Jesus felt deeply sad. He came to the tomb of Lazarus. Remove the stone, Jesus told them. Martha spoke up, Lord, Lazarus has been dead for four days. By this time, there is a bad smell. Jesus said to her, didn't I tell you that if you believed, you would see the glory of God? So they took the stone away. Then Jesus looked up. He said, Father, I thank you that you heard me. I know that you always hear me, but because of the crowd standing here, I am saying this so that they may believe you sent me. After he said this, Jesus shouted with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out wrapped head to foot in strips of linen grave clothes. Jesus said to those with him, unwrap him and let him go. And many of the Jews who were there with Mary and Martha saw what Jesus did and believed in him. 
You know, that was a powerful story. God's love is powerful enough to do anything. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Jesus showed his love to Mary and Martha and cared for them when they were sad. Even when they may have felt like their world was spinning out of control. Jesus was with them and showed them God's power. <laughs> God loves us and He is with us even in sad and hardened times. Bad things happen because of sin in our world. Sin is when we choose to do what we think is best instead of what God says is best. Because of sin there is brokenness, sickness and even death. But even in this broken world, God is still in control. We don't always know why everything happens the way it does, but God is unlimited. He knows everything, even the things that we don't understand. We can believe and trust that He loves us and is always with us. So when you feel sad and helpless when things are really hard, or you feel powerless and frustrated when you don't know what to do, you can trust God with all of those feelings. He loves you and He is always in control. It's true. God's love has no limit. God has shown His powerful love for you over and over again. God showed you the most powerful love when He sent His Son to rescue you. Jesus died on a cross and was buried. But three days later, He came back to life, showing that He is the Son of God. Yep. So don't forget, God's love for you is powerful and it has no limit. Girls, the burgers are ready. Oh, yum! Let's go! <laughs>